There's no way to put words or context on this, but try, try for us. What does this mean? How did they, how well, how amazing were they? They were incredible. It was just an incredible race. I actually thought they were going to be ahead a lot for a lot earlier in the race. But in fairness, the Greeks and the Greeks and the Italians, they really stuck it to them. But in that last 250, they just sailed away to open water. It was absolutely incredible. Just, just there is no words. There is no words here. It's just an unbelievable day for Irish rowing. Super psyched for the lads. Like, again, I guess it was never in doubt. But I, I think when it happens, it still doesn't take away the fact that it happened and it's... it's we're, we're, oh, okay. We're, we're even... No, won't talk, won't, we're, no swearing. Well, go for it. Were, oh, no. were, were you calm, maybe, for a change? And, uh, no, yeah, well, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be calmer. I'm, I'm trying to be a bit more chilled out now, but it's not working. I'm doing my breathing exercises, Jer. I'm doing what all, all the psychs tell me to do, but it's not working. I'm still amped. I, I, I won't be coming down for a few days. That was as dominant a performance as we've ever seen from Irish athletes, maybe with the exception of, of what Wiffen's been doing just yeah. recently. But they went out and they did exactly what they said they would do and they've kind of handled this whole week perfectly. Yeah, they have. I, I think they've been very, very, um, very, very extremely controlled all week, um, playing themselves down the normal Irish kind of, you know, playing the underdog card. They played that very, very well. I think... Um, I, I, I think, to be honest, again, I said it yesterday, I think the rest of the crews knew they were racing for for silver and bronze. But again, you know, you, 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 you know, you can be favourites, but yeah, well, you still have to do it, you know the what Dutch, I mean? The Dutch yesterday was yeah. the, the big warning sign for everybody. Absolutely. You still have to do it. And look at the Greeks. I mean, the Greeks, you never know what's going to happen. You know that kind of way? The Greeks were a massive surprise package. The Italians, like the Greeks were late till halfway, you know, they could have they found something to, to keep to stay out there, but they didn't. The guys had way, way too much power, way too much ability. You know, in, in a sport that is brut, brut, brutality and artistry, these boys have both in spades. A little bit more brutality than artistry, you'll have to say, you know, from a technical, you know, if, you're talk, if we want to be a technical guru Whoa. point of view. But anyway. They're going to clip know. that news out as motivation now, you know that. I know, yeah, well, there you go. They, they, done. Job done. But no, it's phenomenal, a great day, a great day uh, for Irish rowing. And again, it's just gonna, I mean, you can see the crowds here, Jair, packed, packed Irish. I think that's the, the first in, in terms of uh, supporters, I think Irish are, are, are the second. So phenomenal. Great History, day. Dr. Pat O'Callaghan was the first Irish person to do back-to-back -back goals. Kelly could still do it this week, yeah, but yeah. the second is Paul. He's the first ever to win three medals at successive games. You can't say enough about him. Yeah, and, and, and the question is, Jared, the question is back to you. When are you going to officially recognise that Paula Dillonman is the greatest living, or no, greatest Irish sportsman ever? A question to you, Mr. Gilroy. Are you ever, well, are you guys ever in news talk going to actually... I think he's on Mount Rushmore now. Really? Just about? Yeah, I think so. I is think, there anybody... Is, oh, so I you're putting so. other heads up there. I think so. I think, is I, think he, I think he's ahead of the other people in Mount Rushmore, right. no? Uh, just take your lap and run here now. Come on. No, come on. No, you have to bow and scrape. <laughs> Today? Okay, Today. we will. We will. It's, it's Paul O'Donovan's day. Talk to us about Finton as well, because he obviously gets less press, but um, uh, like he has seen off all comers. He is the other person in that boat. He's driving Paul. Yeah, again, like obviously Paul isn't doing it on his own. Um, and they're very, very good couple in that in, in that respect um, you have to you have to you have to understand Finton is always chasing Paul's level do you know what kind of way Finton means a super super athlete double Olympic champion so he's like but it, like Paul is just there and, and nice. Finton is always just that little bit behind him in terms of that so so Finton has always always been chasing Paul and that's huge respect to him to actually live and just to be pushing and pushing. And I mean, in training, I can imagine very little, a very difficult training partner is Paul O'Donovan because he's going to kick the ass out of you every single day and to stick with him and to really continue to rise to Paul's level. One last thing about this, right? We should really, really take this in and enjoy it because this is the last lightweight uh, men's pair in the Olympic Games. For now, it looks like this is yeah. this is finished as an event. So yeah. we should really, like, do not take this for granted. This, no. this, this will never, literally, this will never happen again. No, it will never happen again. And again, back to back to the Olympic Council, or sorry, back to uh, the IOC, it's, 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 it's kind of back to that quota game, Jerry, you know, they cut away and they've taken the seats out of the seats out of the lightweight 
women's and, and, and men's double school and they've put them into coastal rowing. So it's this constant chasing eyeballs that is, is really taking out a fantastic, a fa fantastic end. Originally rowing was taken in so, so because, you know, the stats say to be a heavyweight rower you need to be 180, 190, you need to be 90 kilos of love. So, so the, the, the lightweight event was created for countries who maybe haven't had that sort of population size. It was phenomenally successful um, and a really, uh, a really needed sport, you know, and really, it, it filled a really, really nice gap. Yeah. And it definitely broadened the base of sport. And I guess now, Jared, the whole thing is eyeballs, 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 you know, and, and they're going to go coastal rowing now. And, and that will be another that will be another kind of we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, Ireland, we have we have a little bit of two gaps there. But yeah, back to your point, last of its time, the two boys will be Olympic champions forever now. Yeah. So it's nobody's going to take the title away. Uh, shame to see it's going. I was in the four. The four went a couple of years back. The lightweight uh, double is going now, and it's a real shame. It's a real shame because it's a, it's a pure, it's a really pure event. So, so everybody is 70 kilos. That's the average weight. So it means it's down to what's here yeah. and what's here. Uh, there's, you're never going to be, you know, there's, there, it, it really levels the playing field, and you have to be technically really good and, and mentally really strong, and, and, and that's why it's such a, such a beautiful sport. And we're the best at it in the world. We are. We are actually. We are. We are. We have. We have a chance now. The next 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 race coming up, Jer. You never know what the girls will do. Uh, but we are the best in the in the world, and we should be very proud of that. And again, what a massive day for Skibbereen. Uh, I just can't imagine what it's like now. I think they have a fan park and everything down there. I just cannot imagine the crack that's going on down there. It's just uh, they should be very very proud. And again, back to what I was saying to, uh, back to the saying on on on, on news talk this morning. These medals are really owned by every Ireland is like rowing is like a village. It's all like a county, you know, that kind of way. Everybody feels like that. Like the president of the GA said at the at the at the everybody feels that like they own or a part of this medal. Yeah. You know, that kind of way at the sorry at the Armagh uh, Galway final. Everybody feels they own a little piece of this and medal. You all do, especially yeah, you. yeah. Well, fairness, well, everybody's so you're, tight. You raised standards for a long time, and well, just, you know. You're part of this, totally. I am. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for saying that, Jer. Here's a small video of my achievements. <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, I think um, everybody right. everybody owns a bit piece of that medal. More so than kind of maybe other sports that are a bit bigger. And we yeah. all feel a real connection with the guys and a real connection with the medal. And again, these guys will be will be racing next year at the Irish Championships. And, by, and we, we'll, we'll be able to, yeah, yeah, come see them. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, Jer.